Once the first course has been assembled, pre-cut rebar can now be placed. Determine which molded rebar chair in the tie best suits your plan and lay the horizontal bar into that position around the entire wall. Make sure you have the appropriate minimum lap between bars and tie the splices. Horizontal bar can be tied to the plastic ties. If allowed by local officials, slip a four inch long piece of one and a quarter or one and a half inch plastic pipe over each vertical stub. This will be used later to secure a vertical reinforcing bar that is dropped in from the top. If vertical rebar is already placed, snip the cross member of the tie so you can work around the bar. Place a pair of panels on the second row so the middle point of both panels line up with the vertical joint in the panels below. There should be a 24 inch offset between the end of the panels in the first row and the second rows. Do the same on both sides of the corner. Measure the spaces remaining to the corners, keeping the lap pattern identical to the bottom row. The outside panels will always be 24 inches with the factory ends in the corner. The inside panels will vary in length depending on the wall cavity size, but will both be the same length if lapped identically to the outside panels. Note that there is no need to log cabin the outside corner panels. Doing so adds no strength to the walls and will throw off the layout between rows by two inches. Again, do not log cabin the outside panels. Place corner brackets, full ties and tie flanges in the same manner as the first row. Corner bracket and tie placement should be the same on every row. To expedite tie placement, work in pairs shown here by our crew. Make note of all cut dimensions and prepare panels for the entire wall height. For instance, in an 8 foot wall, rows 1, 3, 5 and 7 will all be identical. Rows 2, 4, 6 and 8 will also be identical. Look down the wall cavity and make sure all ties are aligned vertically. Repeat courses 1 and 2 to a height of 4 feet. At 4 or 5 feet high, it's time for the job supervisor to stop all construction and check for plumb, straight, square and level. Check all walls with a level, tape measure, string line and laser level to make sure the building is the specified size and shape. Make adjustments where needed and monitor as construction continues. When dimensions and plumb are checked, secure the odd dimension seam by screwing 1x4 strapping across the seam on every other row of panels. And finally use spray foam to fill in the gap once the wall has been plumbed and secured in place.